Two. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Schumann. Mm, well, he's talking. the founder of Bread and Puppet Theater, which is based in Vermont. They started in New York City in the early 1960s. So in 2013, they'll be celebrating their 50th anniversary. And in my opinion, he is one of the most influential figures in theater in the last century. clay ovens that he hand crafts out um, on their farm and uh, he bakes loaves and loaves and loaves and loaves of hearty sourdough rye bread and uh, interns and apprentices who are working on the farm in the summer spend days preparing for the audience to come chopping garlic because they make a garlic aioli which is like olive oil and garlic and everyone who comes to be with Bread and Puppets, they experience art um, and they, they are fed. You know, you're not fed a large meal, but it is, you're given this home-baked, hearty food that is sustenance, which is also what, he, what Peter Schumann, and we believe art also is. We, you know, you can't eat it, as Peter Schumann says, but it feeds you. <laughs> At my business, They really believe that these are two things, that basically bread and art are, are human rights. And you should get them and you should get them for free. And they, you shouldn't have to pay for them. So when you go to the Bread and Puppet Circus, it's free. There's, you can donate, there's hats out to donate, but the bread is free and, and, the, and the art is free. Providing the decorative nonsense that charms the civilized sense I feel very privileged and blessed to have someone like Peter Schumann and Bread and Puppet have come I, I, to for me to have been exposed to them at the time in my life when I was because it really has influenced me and reminded me to stick true to my values to stay uh, stay the course. You don't have we don't have to just entertain. We can we can be who we are as human beings as artists in a community and hold true to our values. And, and Peter Schumann is exemplary. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm very grateful to have uh, come into contact with his work. And Art Farm has been greatly influenced in people and artists and activists all over the world. Whether they know it or not, many have been influenced. Um, so, so here's to Peter Schumann and Bread and Puppet. <laughs> of the most lavish portion of reality, which is called the ordinary.